CT scans are a high-tech marvel, allowing unprecedented diagnostic capability. The scans were first utilized in the mid-1990s to examine the seriously ill, but their use has expanded exponentially since. Thanks to persuasive advertising at some medical facilities, CAT or CT scans are being touted as preventive health measures for symptom-free individuals. Are they worth the risks and the costs? CT stands for computerized tomography. These interior maps are created with a powerful x-ray source that scans a body in a spiral from head to toe. Computer programs compile the data into a three-dimensional, highly detailed image. Scientists who use the process are proud of its ability to detect hidden disease. The imaging tool uh, can provide uh, information that a simple physical exam uh, cannot. Coronary artery disease, the largest single killer in our society can be detected quite sensitively with uh, a um, CT scan that looks at calcium in the coronary arteries. We can detect uh, a variety of uh, cancers in various organs. For overtly healthy patients, the scans are not covered by insurance, and they are expensive, ranging from $300 for a look at your heart to $800 and up to peer at your entire body. For some, CT scans could also be hazardous. Whether or not that low dose of uh, radiation from that chest CT scan produces cancer or not is simply unknown. Carolisa Pomerantz is the associate producer of the documentary Reverse Aging Now. While investigating CT scans for inclusion in that feature, she volunteered for a scan herself. Although middle-aged, Carolisa keeps fit, watches her weight, and had every expectation of normal results. She was wrong. Two of Carolisa's coronary arteries had narrowed. There are approximately 16% of women your age who have more calcification than you. Yes, I'm very concerned. Um, I just uh, can't think it's an emergency. They didn't rush me away. What causes heart artery narrowing? High cholesterol, high blood pressure, lifestyle smoking, all of that contribute to it, where the blockages progress over time rupture and cause a heart attack. That would be the concern of the calcifications. Her scan results led to a stress test and nuclear imaging to see if she required surgery. Although she didn't need angioplasty, for Cara Lisa, the coronary artery calcification was a wake-up call. I'm just concerned that it's to the point where I can actually slow it down, reverse it, or stop it, or not, or preventing it uh, from getting any worse than it is. Are you glad you got the news? Oh, absolutely. Uh, this is the time to do it. I'd rather know now uh, at an early stage uh, rather than uh, to know when it becomes an emergency and then it's pretty much too late to do anything about it. Due to aggressive herbal and dietary intervention since the scan, Carolisa has dropped her cholesterol from 192 to 170 and raised her good cholesterol by 11. According to the Food and Drug Administration, there are no data demonstrating that whole body CT scanning of individuals without symptoms provides a greater probability of benefit than harm. But in individual cases, especially if justified by family history or past behavior, such as smoking, full body CT scans can force people to confront lifestyle changes or submit to medical procedures that wouldn't be justified otherwise. As an example, we had an individual um, who used a whole body scan as an adjunct to his 60th uh, year physical. Uh, his doctor said, uh, why not go for it? And uh, the only abnormal finding during the physical was um, a belly lump that the physician interpreted as a, um, a hernia. Uh, turned out on the CT scan that indeed this individual had a grapefruit-sized aneurysm on the aorta, which is a uh, potentially life-ending uh, condition and uh, was in surgery a week later to correct that condition. If you seem healthy and decide in a full body scan yourself, proceed with caution. A haphazard use of CT scans by just about anyone and everyone on demand for everyone is uh, strongly discouraged. However, you could find a potential problem and fix it in time.